Nordatrek treadmill. To show this is how uh, treadmills are packaged. It really doesn't matter what brand you get, model, they all pretty much look the same. And a, the assembly of all treadmills are pretty much the same. Um, very slight differences between um, different makes and models and uh, things like that. So here we go, it's all unboxed. I normally keep this part in the box along with the covers until I'm ready for them. So this is what you get. And these are the assembly parts here and what's in the box, the console. And first step, feeding the wire through the upright. Um, that's so you can connect it to the console. Next, you want to ground it here. Um, sometimes, and most of them, there's a screw all here already. You just remove that screw. It's a throwaway screw is what I call them. Um, it's just for uh, doing the packaging and the shipping that they put screws in that hole. So um, on some of these treadmills, there are screws that will be left over because there are screws you're taking out um, and put in the screws that's in the hardware package. Then you connect the base. Uh, I normally just hand tighten these uh, first to get them into the thread. Uh, when I'm training someone um, on how to assemble a treadmill, one thing I always remind them, um, sometimes the instructions do not mention it. What's easy to look over are these covers that go here to cover up those screws. Um, if you forget to do this part and end up getting half the machine, the treadmill put together, you have to take up a lot of parts apart to put these on. So what I normally always tell my guys is after they do that, do this part, um, check the box to make sure they have these covers, um, and make sure they get those on first before moving any further. These arms are very different. No, not very different, but they can be different um, from different metal treadmills. Um, sometimes you put them on down and the way you put them on can be different. Um, but these two screws, you want to, like I said, uh, put them in with your fingers just for hand tighten it first. And these two screws here will come out um, and they will be throwaway screws because they're screws in the package that will replace these. Um, so these are some of those throwaway screws that I were talking about. I'm gonna remove two screws, three screws in here normally, two. And I'm gonna take this off. This is gonna go here, and it's going to screw in here and here with two new screws. That's the place where those throwaway screws were. There you go. That's now connected. And I always tell my guys when I'm training, if you're using power tools, when you're putting these two screws in, do not go crazy with it and over tighten. This will crack and break. Um, so you don't wanna go crazy with it um, if you're using power tools to tighten these screws up. Now we're gonna add the trays to the console. And again, do not over tighten these screws. Uh, take your time. Um, you don't have to go crazy with it. If you over tighten them, you could break the plastic or damage the plastic. So the trays are in. So now I'm gonna connect this to here. Then I'll be able to attach the screws back here, attach here, here. Hook this cable up here to here. And last thing I'll be doing will be connecting this uh, hydraulic to the bottom and done. Okay, I'm all done. But the customer's still not home yet. So this is an order track T 
6.5s uh, like i said the customer's not home yet that uh, is another example of why this service is needed and how the service can help you out um, customers still coming home from work and they come home to an assembled treadmill you don't have to worry about assembling a treadmill they can come home and work out if they want instead of assembling it so you got your hydraulic here just want to push up a little bit foot here let it come down so about that part and you can remove your foot and nice smooth drop and one thing I like to do before I go over everything with the customer um, turn it on turn it at the highest speed so we look good there and the reason why I say turn it on to the highest speed that's what I find is when you get the most movement in the belt um, just just to see if you need to adjust the belt and you really can't see it but there's a hole here there's one on this side to adjust the roller here if you need to for the belt so I'm going to turn it up to the highest speed to see if we get any rubbing There's no rubbing, but I'm going to adjust the belt just a little um, because there's big gap here, no gap over there. So I'm gonna adjust the belt just a little bit. Um, as long as you don't have it rubbing and digging into the plastic here, you're good to go. But I'm just gonna adjust a little bit so it looks a little better. Um, check the incline. And the last thing I like to check is the safety switch. And it works.